Jason White, Sudeen Apte, who is the uh, CEO as well as the research director at Offshore Insights. Um, thank you, Mr. Apte, for staying so late for us and you know dialing into this conversation. It's a small deal for HCL Technology, but definitely a strategic one. Uh, it does provide them engineering capabilities. How would you read this acquisition, HCL acquiring complete ownership of Geometric? I think it's, you know, uh, two ways to look at it. First, you know, uh, standalone engineering services, especially mechanical focused, uh, is getting squeezed. So as a standalone. However, for the companies which has got uh, higher capabilities in auto electronics, embedded systems and ISV or software focused, for them building uh, mechanical engineering capabilities is becoming important because more and more clients, be it aeronautical clients or automotive companies or medical equipment manufacturers, they're looking for integrated uh, engineering capabilities. So from HCL perspective, getting a capability of mechanical engineering focused uh, engineering services, obviously the value uh, which will help them to create a service line which will be uh, in line with the new requirements of client. Mr. Apte, in terms of uh, if you pip HCL Tech against uh, its immediate peers including Infosys, uh, TCS, Wipro and you take uh, geometrics, uh, manufacturing, defense, uh, aerospace, engineering capability, do you expect HCL Tech to be able to beat peers with geometrics capabilities? Well, you know, actually, uh, some of the names that you mentioned, uh, Infosys or Wipro, uh, really are not the uh, right names to compare. Mm. It's start consultancy services and uh, some of the international players are the really mm. ones uh, that bid for uh, integrated engineering and maybe take Mahindra from uh, a tier two uh, bracket. So really, uh, you know, uh, very few Indian IT companies have a, a true integrated engineering capability. So from that perspective, it's an interesting uh, acquisition for HCL to, to build engineering services capability uh, scale so that they can really offer uh, best of uh, not only uh, integrated engineering but also best of global delivery. So they, they become a very uh, interesting uh, sort of an option for uh, aero or auto or medical equipment or uh, you know some of the transportation companies uh, for whom you know this integrated engineering capability will be of uh, immense value. So really, uh, uh, it's a TCS, uh, uh, you know, uh, sort of a company which will get different competition from HCL uh, compared to in the past. Okay. Mr. Apte, would the fact that Geometrics revenue growth has been negative in F5, 15 and 14 and even in F5, 16, in the first nine months, the revenue growth has only been 3%, so significantly lower than the fast-growing HCL technology, would that be a worrying factor for HCL tech? Well, you know, I, I uh, don't look at this acquisition as a... Uh, a revenue growth acquisition really yeah you get an incremental revenue in engineering services and already uh, HCL ERS is uh, more than a billion dollars so for them uh, it will be an incremental value but the real value of this deal is uh, you know capability and some of the clients that uh, Geometric has so really what HCL can do is leverage that capability to uh, uh, take to the clients uh, get to the new clients where HCL is not present but Geometric is so that opens up the door for not only engineering services or embedded or auto electronics but also possibly for sap and some of enterprise application and infrastructure services so it's a very interesting capability uh, from hcl perspective now you know you talked about geometric growth it's more to do with geometrics internal issues uh, about you know sales sophistication ability to sell uh, on one side and second side as i said earlier standalone engineering services uh, you know are of uh, lesser important to clients than what they used to be five or ten years ago Mr. Apte, uh, a quick question since you spoke about the client uh, edition. There are some client overlaps that the two companies have. So mm -hmm. keeping that in mind, how significant would the client scale up be in the immediate future, specifically in the given verticals? No, I think so. If you look at really auto space and auto tier one, there will be incremental clientele for HCL that uh, uh, Geometric brings to table. Uh, there are uh, uh, some of the shared clients, of course, uh, like a couple of uh, large car manufacturers and uh, uh, medical companies. Uh, but I think, you know, uh, if you look at... Uh, uh, tier ones and uh, you know auto uh, main companies, uh, the car client count will go up for HCL and they will get a new entries in some of the uh, you know additional uh, manufacturing accounts.